If you want to increase androgen receptors uh, sensitivity and signaling, this video is for you. It's for every guy. It's also for a guy uh, dealing with postfenesterase syndrome, so palmetto, if you've been using DHD blockers or if you have some mutation in your gene that uh, makes your androgen uh, receptors not responding to your testosterone okay so i will show you one specific hack no one else is talking about okay so first of all uh, the androgen receptors can be broken down into key domains okay and th these key domains are uh, affecting the effect on ligands such as testosterone or dhd and so on okay so we have ligand binding domain okay and we have the end terminal domain okay so uh, for ligand binding domain uh, we normally think about hormones such as testosterone and dhd and in this video i will also tell how you can increase signaling and sensitivity with weaker androgens like dhea okay so the second uh, domain of androgen receptor is N-terminal domain. And this is where all cofactors and co-repressors come in place because we can uh, boost uh, or decrease the response of androgen receptors to hormones binding the lignan binding domain. And this is the, the hack, okay? We have cofactors, okay? so and uh the the issue is for example uh there are some studies that uh patient uh patient for example where the study was done okay patient with high androgen sensitivity can still experience androgen signaling even if uh there is deprivation in androgens okay like testosterone and dht even if even if you block DHT and testosterone and how it is possible due to these cofactors so you take weak uh, androgen like DHEA and with the right cofactor you can increase the signaling of androgen receptors great yeah so uh, how we can measure everything we can measure with CAG repeats okay so I'm not uh, someone who testing this so I can get you any details but normal CAG repeats is I think from 11 to 25 and everything under this number or over this range is uh, is like overexpression on down regulation okay so and with the right cofactors you can improve uh, androgen receptors uh, signaling okay so uh, how you can do this okay we have this we have several cofactors okay so cofactors of uh, key cofactors of androgen receptors we have steroid receptors uh, coactivators okay like SRC1 SRC2 SRC3 then we have P300 I think P300 are these uh, HDAC inhibitors okay and we have one interesting thing there are also others but for example we have like AR associated protein 70 ARA 70 and for example this enhances the transcriptional uh, activity of androgen receptors for example if we have weak androgen like DHEA okay so and how we can uh, what we can use for example for my treatment i use uh, dihydroquercetin okay but also i was using other cofactors because dihydroquercetin can have a little bit negative impact on 5-alpha reductase but also i was taking things like tribulus uh, vitamin d and all other things that support my dht so even if i was taking uh, even if i was taking dihydroquercetin I was not blocking 5-alpha reductase and DHD and these cofactors help me improve my androgen receptors signaling okay so 
that's it guys so let me know in the comment what you think and if you need my help you will find the contact details in the description bye